depression, it comes from here. It comes from our gut, but people believe it's here. You see, in your stomach, you produce more feel-good factors, more serotonin than you do in your brain. However, it needs to get to your brain in order to be effective. And what is that? It's the thing that makes us feel good. It's that thing that we crave every time we send a text message and our phone goes off and you have to pick it up because you want a bit of serotonin release. It's that thing that you crave because you go to the gym and do some exercise because it makes you feel good. When someone gives you a compliment, it makes you feel good. When you look at yourself in the mirror and you actually feel good about yourself, all this stuff sparks release of serotonin. But if it can't get to your brain because your gut is fucked up, it's not going to do any good. Now, when we actually eat a lot of junk food, a lot of processed food, now I'm not going to be one of these guys that preaches about eating a 100% clean diet because that is not real life, that is not the truth. When we eat a lot of junk food, it kind of jumbles our stomach up, trying to keep a lot of science out of it here. And it produces the wrong things to get those signals to our brain. It causes inflammation, certain things like that. It kind of jumbles the message up and it gets stuck in the stomach. You get bloated, you feel crap, you feel down. You don't get the right nutrients in you. Now, by eating very good food, even good food, you're going to be able to get your stomach, your gut health, you're going to get your gut to digest well. And by digesting well, it's going to reduce inflammation. By reducing inflammation, you're going to get healthy bacteria in there. You're going to get the right nutrients. And by doing that, it's going to allow your stomach, your gut, your body to send signals to the brain. Feel good signals. Feel good hormones. And this is where it comes to depression being a choice. It's your choice if you want to eat shit. It's your choice if you don't want to exercise. It's not expensive. That's an excuse. It's not expensive to exercise. It can be free. It's just an excuse. You've always got time for exercise. If you say you haven't got time to improve your health, to improve your body, to improve your mind, you're saying you've got no time to live. You're saying, that's okay, I'm better off dead. And that's not the truth. People want to be healthy, don't they? People want to feel good, don't they? Now people will eat good, this is what we see during the week. Monday to Friday, this is where that Monday feeling comes in. They eat well Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they may go out. Get a few drinks after work, maybe get a takeaway. They're going to bed at 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock. Get up at 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock. Their routine goes out of the window. Saturday they do it again. Sunday, they're lying in. And then they try and go to bed at a normal time, half 9, 10 or something. To then get up at 6 o'clock the next morning. But their body has just got so used to getting up at 11 o'clock. It's kind of jet lagged. Not only that, you've got all that junk food in there, that alcohol, the crap that's in there, which is stopping your body from producing what it needs to produce to make you feel good. So Monday, you feel crap. If there are any intolerances to these foods, they can take from like three to 72 hours to show their heads to go down. So it's hard to tell what it was. So therefore, Sunday, if you're eating crap because you are hungover, you eat a lot of crap on the Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you start to feel Pretty alright. Thursday you feel great. Friday, yes it's the weekend coming. So why the fuck do you go and do it all again and then Monday you feel like shit again? Because it's a choice. So it's up to you if you want to eat good. It's up to you if you want to feel good. It's up to you if you want to feel depressed.